get me camera, get me, get me, you got me? No sooner did I post that video, right? Because they're so simple-minded. Like, I toy with them for my own entertainment. One of the racist fans from Alabama said, when we ever said that, we ain't never said nothing about no 9G Harris. We ain't never said nothing, nothing about Nick Saban. We, we, you lying, TJ. You lying on us. We ain't never said that because you was a racist. We're not racist. You're the one that's racist. You're the racist for, for putting out our racism. <laughs> Roll it. Here's a white Alabama fan who was angry with Nick Saban. Since the white people are going to show up and say it never happened. And right is right. And this BLM thing that you've done no research on, obviously. And if you have, you're just doing it, like I said, to patronize your athletes. Which is a bad thing, Nick. You're supposed to teach them life lessons, as you're always bragging about. And, um... All these nice little speeches you do. Um, but the thing is, you're basically alienating uh, probably a lot of your fan base. Because a lot of your fan base, you know, is at least 50 to 60% Caucasian or white, however you want to say it. Because, you know, I don't want to say the wrong thing these days because everybody gets their diapers wet if you say the wrong words or say the wrong label. Basically, Nick, you need to do your job. <clears throat> You've gotten into that um, narcissistic uh, view of yourself, I do believe. And I know this is going to be very unpopular among Alabama fans, but this is uh, something that's more important than football, and that's our country. Don't just blindly follow a cause just because a lot of your uh, – Players who are a lot younger than you, by the way, and need your leadership instead of you just placating to them. They're just blindly following it. And there's a lot of minorities out there that can educate your athletes on this matter. A lot of ESPN people, a lot of um, people in the media that are of minority persuasion that can give both sides of the spectrum instead of blindly following a Marxist and racist organization. Now, BLM is not out for the well-being of the minority black race. They're not. I'm sorry to tell you all that. I'm sorry to educate you upon that. But they're not. They're, they're, out, they're out for themselves on this. They're getting funding. They're getting money and all that stuff. Now, for years, people have fought for desegregation. My father guarded. He was in the National Guard. He uh, guarded the girl that attended the University of Alabama first. So don't think you can just label me uh, with some of these labels that you like to label people with just because I'm white. Y'all fought for desegregation, but yet you're letting the liberal side of the Democratic Party, because there are some good Democrats out there, you're letting the liberal side, though, of the Democratic Party fool you up and segregate us again with labels like BLM, Antifa, uh, KKK, skinheads, black and white racist organizations. But they're fooling you up and they're using the BLM and Antifa to split us and you don't even see it. I used to be a Democrat a long time ago until I've seen their game. Their game is they want to keep minorities, blacks, whites, Hispanics, they want to keep us separated in eyes because it's, for some reason, they see that as in their favor. I haven't really gone into depth to educate myself on why they do that, but they do it. Because the word Black Lives Matter in itself is a segregation. It's segregating blacks from whites. It's saying that Black Lives Matter is what sounds like Black Lives Matter more than any other life whether it be black, white, Hispanic, Asian, anything. So Nick and Najee Harris and all the other football players on the team, do yourself a favor and educate yourself before you blindly follow something that just the masses or the um, mob mentality is doing. Educate yourself before doing it. Because what you're going to do is you're going to alienate a bunch of people that you really don't want to alienate. 
might not believe me now, but I'm telling you, it's coming down the pipe. <laughs> and Nick, we pay you millions of dollars, man, to do a job, to coach football. Najee, the University of Alabama gives you a scholarship, a pretty expensive scholarship by most standards. Yeah, I, mean, I know college players probably deserve to be paid a little bit, supposedly. But regardless, you're given a scholarship to play football. Nick's given a job to coach football. We pay him handsomely, and we give you a nice scholarship and education and a chance of probably going to the NFL for millions of dollars. And that's what you're supposed to do. You don't use our university as your political tool. You understand? You don't do that. If you do that, man, it's just going to, like I said, it's going to cause problems down the road. Y'all think y'all are untouchable. Y'all been put on this pedestal to think that sports is higher than anything. And it's not. It's not more important in this country. I'm the biggest Alabama fan you'll ever meet. The least racist person you'll ever meet, more than likely. <laughs> and yet, y'all try to turn us against y'all. Y'all try to force your views and preach to us and talk down to us and think we're too stupid to realize what's going on. <laughs> so y'all just need to do your jobs, play football, coach football. And if you want to do political crap, do it on your own time. Do it somewhere else, away from the University of Alabama. Do it on your own leisure time with some of your buddies that's not connected to the university because it has nothing to do with this. Alabama... A lot In of other words, go this, be with your own kind. Uh, misconception <laughs> that Nick Saban made Alabama. Not true. Alabama made Nick Saban. Y'all <laughs> might get mad at me saying that, but Alabama made Nick Saban. Without Alabama, Nick Saban wouldn't have done this to LSU. He won one national championship there, but I guarantee to you, he would not have won multiple five or six national championships at LSU. He might have won one more, but not five or six. Alabama was winning national championships long before Nick Saban, even before Bear Bryant. And they'll win national championships after Nick Saban. So, Nick, just do your job. Najee, play football, man. Y'all quit dragging our sports into your political agendas. And that's all I got to say about that. I told you, don't challenge me. I'm a curator of every racist SEC fan out there. Okay? When I say something, I can back it up. The football prophet.